Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another video. My name is Lightning Lane, and today we are going to draw and color one of the most feared and richest pirates to ever sail the seas. She's plundered many ships, and she's even fought several sea monsters. But what she is most known for is her obsession with stealing valuable glitter and adding it to her glitter treasure. So because of this, she has become known as Captain Glitter. Okay, so let's first start by drawing her face. Now we need to draw her pirate hat, which will have a flower on it and some feathers sticking out of the top. So next, we need to draw her long flowing hair. And now we need her torso and her pirate outfit with some kind of necklace. There we go. Okay, now we just need to color her in. So let's do the pirate hat first. Uh, we'll use some brown, some blue, and some random colors for the feathers. Now for her face, we'll use black for her lashes, green for her eyes, and some purple lip gloss. So let's make her hair blonde but we'll also have a few purple strands of hair. Now for her outfit, we'll leave the sleeves white, the torso will be an aqua color, and the necklace gem will be green. And of course, we can't forget to add some glitter, so first, let's add some blue glitter to her flower and to her dress.
and now just a little bit of green glitter on the gem. And now we need some purple glitter for her lip gloss and for the purple strands of hair. Here she is! We have a glitter pirate! But now... What about her glitter plunder? I mean, she must have a bunch of treasure chests just filled with gems, gold, and glitter. So, well, well, let's just draw one. So for this treasure chest, let's start by drawing the bottom half of the chest first. And now we need the top half of this opened up treasure chest. Uh, oh, and we need some type of lock. So I'll draw it over here. And now we need to fill up this chest with precious valuables. So we'll have some large gems, a few gold coins, and lots of glitter. Okay, uh, since this is a wooden chest, let's color it brown with a little bit of gray and gold color for the metal pieces. So for the gems, one will be purple and the other will be aqua, gold for the coins, and the rest will be pink. So for the glitter, Let's start by adding some gold glitter to the outside of the box. So pink glitter is one of the most valuable glitters and this treasure chest is filled to the top with it. So let's go ahead and add it. Wow, this is quite an amazing treasure. And what's really crazy is that this is just one of many of her treasure chests. In fact, she has so many treasures that she's running out of space to store them on her ship. 
And, uh, oh, speaking of her pirate ship, we need to draw it. So for Captain Glitter's pirate ship, let's start with a mermaid statue on the front of the ship. And next, we need the hull of the ship. And let's add an anchor here, and some really powerful cannons. Now that we have the hull, let's draw the next level of the ship. And above this, we'll need some sails and a flag on top. So now we need another big sail, a crow's nest, and another pirate flag. Oh, we also need a captain's quarters in this area. And on top of the captain's quarters, we'll have an upper deck, which will have the ship's steering wheel. It's all ready, and I think it's time to set sail into the sea. So, um, hmm. We do have a problem, though. It seems like with the last treasure chest on board, we don't have any more room for more treasure. So, we're gonna have to find a secret place to bury the treasure chest. Now, we need to come up with a good place to hide our treasure chest. And we'll need to remember where we hid it. So I think the best thing to do is draw a treasure map. So for this treasure map, let's start with the paper outline first. We now need a compass to show north, south, east, and west. So let's draw one up here. Oh, and let's draw where Captain Glitter's pirate ship is at on this map. So currently, we are located right here. Well, we need to hide the treasure box on one of these islands. And I'm thinking, it might be best to hide it on this island, between the palm tree and Skull Rock. So let's draw an X to mark the spot. Now, one thing that I haven't told you about this area is that it's full of dangerous sea monsters, and they're very territorial, meaning that they'll try to destroy any ship that comes within their area. But thankfully, Captain Glitter knows where these sea monsters are located. So, let's draw them in. Another danger is that there's some massive whirlpools that if you get too close, they'll suck the ship down to the bottom of the ocean. However, Captain Glitter also knows where the whirlpools are located. Now, let's just quickly color in this map. And 
And we just need to add a little bit of glitter to complete this map. Now all we need to do is make a safe route from Captain Glitter's ship to the X mark. Yeah, I think this is the safest route to, to get to the X. So, well, let's set sail and uh, start this journey. Well, we avoided all the sea dangers and we made it to the island. So let's bury this treasure box between the palm tree and Skull Rock. Oh, I need some kind of digging utensil. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess this will work. Okay, let's dig a hole right here. I think this should be deep enough. So, let's drop the treasure chest in the hole. And now we just need to fill this hole back up to make it look like no one was ever here. Looks like it's all taken care of. Yeah, I think we covered our tracks pretty well. Now we need to make sure that we keep the treasure map in a safe place just in case we ever need to come back here someday and unbury this treasure. Well, looks like Captain Glitter is off to plunder some more ships and... Oh no! I got glitter all over my hands! I... uh... Uh, I better not touch anything. Well, if you like this video, give it a glitter thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. You're the best audience. And I'll see you in the next video.